What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It's me, Torian Goddess. What's going on with y'all? I sure enough was brought here for a reason. So I just meditated. I prayed for safety. And I'm calling in my ancestors of the strongest, 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 and highest white light, my warriors, my strongest G's. I, I feel I need them front and center. I got them front, back, and side to side. Somebody need to pay attention. Front, back, and side to side. Yes, back, front, and back, and side to side. They said you need to be paying attention. You, you, I'm talking to a business person, somebody who is an entrepreneur. They clock in when they want to. But see, your business is one that is unsavory, my G said. Somebody got a hustle hand. But it's illegal. I don't knock nobody. Um, but they said you need to pay attention. Because you're not. Something where somebody can come up missing. Y'all hear that? Something or somebody can come up missing. Take it how it resonates. What you doing? That's what you think of first. What is it that you doing? Do you need to move a little differently? Yeah, you need to move a little differently. My G says you need to watch your house. You need to think about your safety. Because folk watching you. You need to watch your windows. They want you to pay attention. Your driveway. Look that shit. You're not even looking down when you walk to see what's on your path, my G said. Whether or not you driving or a passenger. And if you a passenger, you really need to be paying attention because who you got around you, who in your circle, what you doing? Pay attention. Pay attention. Hmm. I feel like somebody has a new addition to their family. Somebody got a new addition to their family. You might be expecting a child. Somebody in your energy around you is expecting a child in your immediate family. You're not paying attention to your surroundings, though. And what is it that you do? How you get your money? <clears throat> you don't have to answer that question on here. Because you're talking too much, too. They said you on social media telling too much of your business. You ain't paying attention. Somebody too public. It's like you a a public library. My G says you don't have to respond to everything. You don't listen. You haven't been listening. You have someone who's knowledgeable in your ear. Someone you, you communicate with. Somebody you listening to. However, 
the game they trying to give you, go wind you in somebody's cemetery, my G said. Yeah. You ain't paying attention to your surroundings, the people that you coming into contact with. You don't know anything about their dealings. The skeletons in their closet. That darkness that's within. Somebody is dealing with somebody who is straight up killer. Disguise murderer. They're unknown killer. They play with guns. They probably keep one on them too. My G said. Murder, murder, kill, kill. But I, I see somebody is expecting a child. Immediate family tree. Yeah, my G says you neglected some good advice. And you talking too much. You talking too much. You know, you don't know who you dealing with. That's why it's best to be the fuck quiet when you meet people. You, you you meeting people, telling them who you know. You slandering the wrong people. I feel as though you slandered somebody. Um, you was talking shit about somebody and telling their business, and you wasn't even supposed to be doing that because you ain't know what you was talking about, for one, my G said. You ain't know what you was talking about, for one. They said, yeah, aha. That's what they just said. You just peep gang. I feel like somebody told you that you was overstepping your boundaries, but but you felt as though you had whoever I'm talking to. Somebody felt as though they they didn't have a sip of courage. They didn't have a sick a sip of courage because you hormonal. You hormonal right now. You know what I'm saying? You you, you whoever I'm talking to, you're pregnant. You hormonal and and you didn't spoke the wrong shit a little too quick. You you sticking your chest out, my G said, because there is you you got some emotionalism going on. Um, and you applying pressure too. You applying pressure. Whoever you offended. You keep doing it. You keep talking shit. My G says you don't back down. You 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 strong driven, but you about to have some what the fuck moments. They said because you just created some bullshit. It's about to be a twist of luck. Present day, the person you slandered, who you've been talking shit about. This person ain't no joke. And they sensitive. They sensitive. My G said, believe. Believe the words that's coming out my mouth. And you need to pay attention to what's going on around you. You, you, you. I feel as though. I feel as though I may be talking to someone who's inexperienced in these streets, but you out here playing like you know what you're doing. Yeah, that's what my G says. You out here playing like you, like you know what you're doing, and you are in a world, a, a territory that you've never been. You winging it as you go, and you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. They said, whoever you dealing with, This person been watching you. Whoever you slandered, whoever you offended, this person been watching you. 
They've been thinking about how they going to shut you up. Been thinking about how you how they gonna shut you up. I feel as though you you seen something. You could be going through some health spells. I hope I hope in the goddamn hell um you are taking good care of yourself. Because I see that due to all all this heaviness that's going on around you because the energy thick. The energy thick thick and you not taking care of yourself the way you're supposed to um there's too much going on around you you need to reflect on who it is that you're dealing with my g said it was some type of money opportunity you're trying to develop your your skill in that hustle um but you don't know what you're doing since you don't take the time to be quiet and apply what you've learned and what you what what you've been shown because you talking too much that you can't even catch the blessings. You can't get the game. They said it's not the profession for you, and they insisting that you you just need to be quiet. They 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 said you you're intuitive. You be, you've been having some gut feelings. Um. Because it's been something to fall in your lap. But you don't want to change, they said. You don't want to change. I feel as though you feel some sort of excitement. It's something new for you. But you're dealing with disloyal, fake, um, hardcore individuals. And you trying, I think you just looking at it as a come up, something for you to do, but you didn't study before you dove head first. So you this you, you didn't weigh any of your options. And those gut feelings that was t- that was telling you no this is not the position for you in life. This I this is not what I want for you. That's what your G's was this saying right now. Um, they, they, they gave you some intuitive downloads. That was that was those butterflies you was feeling. That was to caution you that these next steps that you were taking were going to lead you down a shit brick road. They said your inner sight helps. It, it's going to ease up some of this, some of these, some of these next fatal steps. Because um, somebody... Feel as though you've been disloyal and that you're the enemy. And they wanna they wanna do some harm to you. They wanna do some harm to you because you've been out here talking shit about them, they said. Hmm. And you know this person is off the hook. This person off the hook. They a little confused. They a little confused about it. I feel as though they didn't expect. They didn't expect for you to betray them, but you betrayed them in some sort of way. They feel and they looking at you like you the enemy. They're looking at you like the enemy. You need to, whatever it is that you're doing, my G said, bag out. They said, bag out. Don't turn down no help right now. Um, somebody pregnant. You went through a, through a fucking transition metabolically um <laughs> something has um transfused through that cerebellum that got you thinking different that spirit they want you to lean towards that wisdom because you knowledgeable about spiritual law as he said, you knowledgeable about spiritual law and you know 
that this shit brick, you know what this shit brick roll is like. You don't know the ins and outs of the shit brick rolls, though. But you know you want one. But you, you enticed by it. You feel like as though you leveling up. You leveling up. It's, it's, it's some up and down moments with your pockets and shit, but you didn't have some twist of luck with the, with this, with these trails, but you got folk around you, you ain't hip to. You need to be the fuck quiet. That's how they said it. You need to be the fuck quiet. Um, because the possibilities that may arise, you most definitely aren't ready for. They said you're not ready for that. You need to take a break and regroup, they said, because everybody got a mask on. Everybody around you got a mask on. That's what they said. Everybody around you got a mask on and because they know that you the babe of the bunch. That's what I feel like. You the babe of the bunch and they trying to grow you up. They instilling what they want, what parts of the game that they want to tell you. You know, they leaving a bunch out as well. My G said there's some scandalous shit going on. And seeing as if you spiritually inclined, they need you to hone in on your inner feelings. You may be a little bit moody right now, but they, they said you double-minded too. You double-minded as well. You've absorbed these energies and you need to shed and dead this shit, they said. They said this shit old already, even if it is new to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's old already, even if it is new to you. And it's causing too many distractions and too much confusion. You are optimistic person is what I'm hearing. But how can you be optimistic surrounded by lying as emotionally manipulative, narcissistic folk who want to bring injustice to any of their dealings? So what that make what make you think that they going to keep it real with you or they ain't keeping it real with nobody around you? They scholars at it. You you like a kindergartner. You feel me? Yeah. They said the time is wrong. Back out. You need to change your path. You need to think about your health. Um, you need to think about your health. You with child. You want this baby? I, I, I see um, that you need to change your ways. Um, you're not even eating right, they said. They said this change is going to be healthy for you. Mind, body, and so. Especially for your body. You want to live or what? You want to live right? Or you want to stay on this shit brick road and have to look over your shoulder because somebody watching you. They said you need to pay attention and lock everything up. You need to be aware of your surroundings all day, every day, and shut up. You have offended the wrong person. You've overstepped some boundaries. And I see some quarrels, you know. I see some arguments. I see some some bitches thrown. I hear I hear that. I I hear some bitches thrown and shit, you know. And I feel as though you I feel I feel an like innocence from you, really. Like you like you're a youth. Maybe you Maybe you um young for your age, or you could be a, a younger person, but you don't know what you're doing, and you are surrounded around disorder and confusion, and you are alienated. Really, you don't know what's going on, and you the one always trying to keep the peace out the bunch. But um, you need to go on and surrender the source, get up out of this situation ship that you in. Because it's, it's, it's surrounded around a love situation, too. It's surrounded around some, some of y'all, not for everybody. Take everything, how it resonates. It's surrounded around a, a love situation, too. It's been some confessions of some bullshit that was already known. Because you follow your gut intuition 
uh, for your for your romantic life. You peeping game about that, but you ain't peeping game about everything else. You you got your energy focused on just one particular part of your world. And my G said you need balance. You need some head over heart logic. And you need to do that quick because you're supposed to be on a mission, they said. They said you're supposed to be on a mission. They said you, you've been disgusted by some shit. Your spirit been vexed. Um... You've been trying to rectify your money, though. My G said, lighten up. Ain't nobody around you trustworthy. Whatever you got your hands in, they said, that's 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 not the gig for you. That's not the gig for you. You need to realize you have a new purpose now. You have a new purpose and, and, and lean towards your spirituality and why you want to be friends with somebody who always lying to you. Why you want to have any romantic dealings with anybody who's always lying to you. They said if you don't take a few steps back and look at the people around you, look at how they talk about everybody up under the sun. Mm -hmm. Look at how they always plotting on everybody up under the sun. It's been some shit made known to you already. It says you can accomplish what you want. You, you, you can accomplish what you want, but you have to remove yourself from confusion in order to do so. You're going to be unfortunate um, to have something come your way about a love situation, they said, too. Yeah, you, it, they said that expect for that to fall in your lap but it's something that's already been tickling your fancy they said something you already knew somebody want to help you ease your burdens outside of this situation they said don't turn down that help your hope is deferred right now and you apprehensive about a lot because your heart is broken so you you're not thinking right they said you your heart is broken I, that's what they saying because it's been some 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 chaotic some chaotic times um, in your love life. We got you on this road, um, trying to get this money the way you were. And they said you you have offended the wrong people in this business, and you need to book bag out. You already had instructions to do that, but you ne you neglected that advice. Um, yeah, shut up too. They said. Be quiet. You got material happiness already. You need to you need to think about your health. And said patience is needed right now. You got blessings coming. In all honesty, you do. You have some blessings coming. They said you deserve it. You gotta get up off this shit brick road because you got some gifts. Rectify your situation. It ain't what's happening to you, it's how you come up out of it. They said come up out of it. Renew your hope and your faith. You got to balance some shit out. And they said dip sex. 